The Big Fat Worm, based on the picture book by Nancy Van Lan, and originally illustrated by Marisa Bina Russo, adapted and told by Laura Schick. This is a story about a big, fat, slimy worm. As you know, worms like to come out of the ground after it has rained. When everything is all soggy and slimy, just like the worms are. One day after it had rained a whole bunch, a big, fat, slimy worm wriggled his way up, out of the ground, and into the sun. No sooner did he poke his head out of the ground than a bird. Who happened to be flying by, saw him. The bird swooped down, and landed right next to the worm. Hi, worm, the bird said. Hi, bird, the worm said. Worm, do you want to know something? The bird asked. What? The worm said. I'm going to eat you up. Oh no, you're not! The worm cried. Oh yes, I am. Oh no, you're not! The worm yelled. And before the bird could snatch him up, he wriggled back down into the ground, where the bird couldn't reach him, and he was safe. Phew! While the bird was down on the ground, trying to figure out. How she was going to get that big, fat, juicy worm? Who do you think came walking by? But a cat. Hi, bird," said the cat. "Hi, cat," said the bird. "Bird, do you want to know something?" asked the cat. "What?" asked the bird. "Well, I'm going to eat you up," said the cat. Oh no, you're not! Oh yes, I am! Oh no, you're not! Cried the bird. And before the cat could catch her, she flew up, up into the sky, and out of that cat's reach. Now, while the cat was trying to figure out how she could grab that bird out of the sky, who do you think came walking along? But a dog. That dog walked right up next to the cat, and he said, "Hi, cat." Well, hi, dog," said the cat. "Cat, do you want to know something?" "What?" asked the cat. "I'm going to eat you up," said the dog. "Oh no, you're not!" "Oh yes, I am!" "Oh no, you're not!" cried the cat. And quick as a flash, she scrambled up a nearby tree and found a branch where the dog couldn't reach her. Phew! But the dog was still hungry, and so he waited for that cat to come down for quite a while. But when he got tired of waiting, he decided to go home, where he could dig up. His favorite snack, a delicious bone. So he took that bone, and he went to chew on it, in peace and quiet, away from that cat. Now, when the cat realized that the dog was finally leaving, she thought, "At last, now I can finally get out of this tree." And go back to figuring out how I'm going to eat that bird. And she jumped down from the tree and landed on the ground and went off to see if she could find that bird again. But once the cat had left, the bird saw that she was gone and the coast was clear. So she knew it was safe to fly down to the ground once more. She swooped down by that tree and landed gently, 
right on the ground next to the wormhole and she sat there very quietly and she waited and she waited what do you think she was waiting for oh she was waiting for the worm to come out again and finally he poked his head up out of the ground and he wriggled his way up into the sun and as soon as the worm was all the way out of the ground what do you think happened the bird said hi worm and the worm said hi bird and the bird said worm do you want to know something and the whole thing started all over again and that is the story of the big fat worm the end